The Hunchback of Notre Dame was made in 1996 to cash in on the Disney version. What a shocker. I'm tired. Roll it to me when I sounded... Okay. In the great city of Paris, there stood a beautiful cathedral. It was called the Cathedral de Notre Dame. Shall we tell him? Sh shall we tell him? Uh, uh oh. Shall we tell him? Fast forward as the narrator tells us about love and how there are some who need it most as two parents give their child Quasimodo to the place where the archdeacon and brother Lubus find him and take him in. No doctors know what is wrong with him as the sound of bells makes him happy. So Quasimodo grows up inside the cathedral with only two people loving him, the ones that raised him and the gargoyles. The archdeacon and brother Lubus are visited by Gaston. It's Rollo, but I don't care. He tells them that the money the place is making does not help them in any way for the safety of the people, as Gaston says he can help them for a price. They say no as he leaves, insulting Quasimodo, and he leaves. And also today is Fool's Day, where Quasimodo is watching over the people, have fun as he wishes he could join them. After talking to the gargoyles, he decides to dress up and go down there as Quasimodo gets himself a mask and a green robe and walks around and plays games. Quasimodo helps out the terrible poet, as we see, as Meraldo, J.K. aids Belle. Because in Disney timelines, she could be around here reading her book. Before I sleep, I say a little prayer That I can find a better life than what I'm living Quasimodo is accidentally revealed as the people run in fear and the terrible poet helps him out. I don't see anyone coming. It looks like we gave them the slip. My friend. So Esmeralda and the rest of the group are arrested and brought to Gaston as he wants them to be killed. But the henchman says he wants them to be heard out because Gaston likes to watch them beg and he lets them in. Gaston takes a liking to Esmeralda as the others tell them about Quasimodo, which Gaston doesn't care about until his henchman says that they can be of some use. Don't you see a monster, a freak, running about the courtyard of Notre Dame, creating panic and fear? Who does that make you think of? My first wife. Okay, that got one chuckle out of me. He tells Gaston that if the hunchback is trialed, then the archdeacon would do whatever they want to get him back. As Gaston tells them to bring Quasimodo to him and they'll be given freedom. The men are sent out as Esmeralda is to stay. The terrible poet actually t tells a good poem for once as the bell rings, which alerts Quasimodo to get on home. Also, the guy's name is Pierre because Quasimodo tells us. They wait for his return as he does come back and he tells them what had happened as they tell him to stay up there. He falls asleep and... You're gonna catch your death sleeping out here, son. Please tell me that this man doesn't have any pudding pops near anyone. And I went to look up, actually, who was all in this? Nobody. So nobody the fucking ghost is everyone and everything. How does this happen so many times? Hey, Mr. Bell Ringer, what's going on? If you will excuse me, I'd like to sing this song. So we go back to the band as they try to figure out what to do about getting the hunchback. As they get the bright idea to dress up the fat guy as Esmeralda, and we cut cut to bells where Quasimodo gets a flyer about Esmeralda playing that night. With Quasimodo sneaking out as Pierre is there to see her dance. What's in the bottle? It's chloroform. A couple of whiffs of this, and he'll be out cold. <laughs> what? What the fuck? You heard that right, folks. They're gonna chloroform Quasimodo. And not only that, but the bottle has a skull and crossbones, so maybe he's gonna die. <laughs> Quasimodo does make it and calls up Pierre as the fake Esmeralda dances. Many people leave as Pierre is pinned by the fake Esmeralda and Quasimodo is captured and taken back to Gaston's place. A message is sent to the cathedral as Quasimodo is to be punished. So in the middle of town, the archdeacon and brother Lubus are called down as Quasimodo is there to be whipped 15 times. Gaston tells the archdeacon the whippings can be stopped by money for the cathedral as he refuses and the beatings commence. The beatings are so bad that even the gargoyle cries. Quasimodo calls out for water as Esmeralda comes to his aid. Gaston gets jealous and he tries to seize her and Pierre comes to her rescue. The two run, leaving Quasimodo behind. Um, guys isn't here. And runs off as the guards follow suit and Quasimodo is taken back to the cathedral. As they tell him that if they tried harder to get the people to see behind the ugly, then everything would have been okay as we cut to Gaston having a hissy fit. 
If people only understood me the way I think they should, they'd have a recollection. Esmeralda and Pierre are in the forest as Pierre confesses his love for her. Once upon a dream, on a night like this. Guys, we literally had a song two minutes ago. Fuck off. After Pierre stops thinking with his dick, he talks about marriage with Esmeralda and realizes Quasimodo is hurt and they go back to see him. Yeah, I'm okay. Damn, Quasimodo, are, are you okay? No, just, back to little, so I'll be alright. Oh, great. The Archdeacon's gonna marry us. The band and Esmeralda and Pierre sneak into the cathedral and the band goes after them. I thought they were going after the Archdeacon, but whatever, and the bottle of chloroform is thrown and Esmeralda and Pierre pass out. Uh. Forgive us, Father, for we have sinned. Whew, what a night. The Archdeacon and Esmeralda are taken to back to Gaston as Esmeralda is to marry Gaston back at the cathedral. A note was left behind saying that the Archdeacon had to leave, which they don't believe, as well as the new Archdeacon is to arrive for the marriage of Gaston and Esmeralda. The day of the wedding arrives, Esmeralda is saved and Pierre fights back. Quasimodo takes Esmeralda to the top of the cathedral as it suddenly gets stormy out as the battle commences. As Quasimodo is pushed off the side, he goes to beat Esmeralda only for his belt to be wrapped around the gargoyle, killing him. Oh, big oof, actually. And the Disney one, he falls to his death, and now you get crushed by a gargoyle. Nice. The Archdeacon, Pierre, and Brother Lubis arrive as Esmeralda gives them the bad news. But it turns out that he's hanging on for dear life as Pierre comes to his rescue. But he lets go, saying his goodbyes as he suddenly grows wings. What the fresh fuck? And he flies into the sun. The end. Good. I mean, some characters are done well, and a few things made me laugh here and there, but my favorite is the IMDb review, Someone Left. Bad. It's slow. And then the songs aren't worth it. Then the fuckers Esmeralda and Pierre leave Quasimodo, and then there are some side characters with no heart at all. All because they have no clear direction. This one pisses me off because it's so boring and nothing happens when they're whipping. And the songs, and sometimes characters are never fully open their mouths, just teeth and lips and stop! Hey, is my probation over? Great, I have something good planned in mind. 